Hi guys, this is going to be my February favourites. Haven't done a favourites video since sometime last year, maybe even I don't even remember when I did it, so I thought I'd do an updated one. So I don't have much to say, so let's get started. So first thing I have is the Chanel Soul Tan de Chanel. Um and I use this like after my primer, which I need to show you, but um I use this like as a base, which I think it is. I don't know, but I use it just under my foundation because it's a bit dark for me, if I show you. Um, it's quite dark, obviously you can tell. So I apply it under my foundation with a miniature beauty blender. Um, and it, it goes on really well and it blends so well. So I do recommend this, it's a bit pricey, um, but it is really, really good. Um, and then primer. Um, this is my primer, it's a sample of the Purr um, Correcting Primer and this is a illuminating and glow primer um, and it's really really good, I do like this um, so I would recommend it and I got this in like a beauty box from Marks and Spencer so they did one of that. Um, I then have the Benefit Fake Up which I apply just under my eyes so hydrating um, concealer, I don't know how you can see, there you go, um, it's like the concealer on the inside and the hydrating stuff on the outside and this is in O2 medium which I still think is a bit too dark for me but it's yellowy tone so it works really well for my skin. Um, then I apply foundation and I have two foundations I've been loving this month, um, one's more affordable, one's more high end. Um, so the first one I have is the Rimmel Lasting Finish. This is my go-to drugstore foundation. I'll buy this all the time. Like when this runs out, I'll go buy another one. Um, but this is in 100 Ivory. I think I'm going to start trying the lighter one because I do feel this is like a bit too dark compared to the next one I'm going to show you. Um, this is more of like some of this colour. I just dropped something. Great. Um, the next thing I have is, the next foundation I have is the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Longwear Liquid Foundation and this says full coverage, matte finish and oil free and it is all of them things, this is so good, it definitely like lasts all day and I think this is about 20 something pounds but it is really really good, um, this is actually like the most expensive foundation I've bought but mine is the lightest shade, mine is in 05 and they tested this on me so yeah. Um, the next thing is concealer which it drops on the floor. So, so um, this is the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, everyone knows what this is but I absolutely love it. When I wear this foundation, which is the Urban Decay one, I can't wear it because this is too dark to wear with it. So I'm going to get the um, Urban Decay concealer to wear under my eyes, but this is good for, like, the Rimmel one. It works really well. And um, then powders. I have two powders I've been loving this month. I have the Rimmel Clear Complexion powder, which is basically like stay matte, just helps with your skin. And then the One Heck of a Blot by Urban Decay. I love these. They're both really mattifying, so they work really well. Um, okay. Next thing is bronzer or contour, and I've been loving this. I got it for my birthday in January, and I've been wearing it every day since. And this is the MAC um, Matte Bronze Bronzing Powder um, and this is I think just limited edition packaging if I can find it online I'll leave it down below because I definitely recommend this um, it's just so pretty I've got it on today and they have a sun kissed one but I think I think it had like a glitter in it so I just went with the matte one because I wanted to use it for contour and then blush I don't wear blush every day but when I do I've been using this one, I've been bringing it back 
This is the Sleek Rose Gold Blush. Uh, all of it's come off, so I don't even know why I'm looking at the back. But if you're new to makeup, you might not have been here when this trend was on. It's like a highlighty um, blush, as you can tell. I've got it on today. I've got most of these products on today. But yeah. Now, eyes. So for my eyebrows, I've been using the colour 24 Hour Colour Tattoo in Permanent Taupe, which is kind of a grey colour as you can tell. I'm trying to find a brown one that I really like. I just can't find one at the moment. So yeah. Um so if you know any good ones like I know there's the Anastasia ones but I don't I don't know. Um, um then I have been enjoying the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette but I just didn't want to get out of my drawer because my drawers are a mess at the moment and everything keeps falling where it's put in my drawers. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so the next eyeshadow I have is Amber Lights by MAC, um, which I have on today. It's like this coppery colour, and this is a frost, and this is a 55. It's like this, um, and I really do like this, so I would definitely recommend that. Um, then, oh, mascaras. I've been enjoying three. One of them I recently got, like, um last week so um i haven't had it too long but i've really been enjoying it and that's the rimmel scandal eye one the only reason i got it is because it was selling it in my supermarket for like two pound 23 or something so i just picked it up um this is the waterproof one but it is really really good i've got it on today um i then have the lancome hypnos on mascara which I do love this a lot and then the roller lash by benefit everyone knows that so those are my three favorite mascaras of February now lipsticks um, I've one favorite brand of lipstick at the moment so they're all basically the same brand apart from one which I'll show you first um, so the first one I have this t-shirt is so annoying. Um, the first one I have is by NYX and this is a liquid suede um, cream lipstick in 07, 07 Sandstorm. I absolutely love this, like, absolutely love it, like, it's gorgeous. Then I have my three MAC lipsticks. I could wear these every day of my life. Um, but yeah, so this one I haven't worn as much because it's running out. This is Velvet Teddy. Everyone knows this. But this is how much I've got left. I need to go buy another one. But I bought a dupe for it and it's quite a good dupe. So if you want to see a dupe video um, for this, then comment down below. I then have Stone, which I haven't worn too much because it's quite dark. But I have worn it a few times this month. It looks a lot darker on the bullet than it is when you put it on but I love this and the one that I've been loving this month is this one and uh, no not that one this one and this is a whirl and these are all matte yeah these are all matte because I love matte lipsticks this is whirl and I've also got the lip liner and this is what I've got on today with the lip liner I absolutely love this and a good combination is the whirl lip liner and velvet teddy um it's like a darker lip liner and then a lighter colour on top. Um, so these are my three favourites, well four favourite lipsticks and I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you've tried any of these products and how you feel about them and um, please subscribe. Bye! You, you made me.